Hey guys, it's Fury91, and I'm talking about the Nintendo Indie World Showcase, which occurred last week, Thursday. And it was a pretty decent showcase. Now, if you haven't watched yet, spoiler alert. It showed off a good amount of games, but I'm really just going to talk about three that caught my eye. And the first one is Road 96. Road 96 actually looks like a very interesting game, simply because the amount of choices it seems like you can have based on the trailer. It seems like you meet this kid, and you can choose to like help him get home, help him go somewhere else. And you can be mean to him apparently, like you can steal from him, like you can pick your route. Do you want a taxi? Do you want the bus? And it's just like different things happen based on what you choose. And you even apparently meet different people based on what you choose. And it looks really interesting. The second game is The Longing. Now, I'm not actually interested in this game for the gameplay or for the, like, choice aspects or anything like that based on what I saw from the trailer. But the biggest thing that made this game interesting for me was that you apparently you have to wait 400 actual days, like real time, for your king to wake up or something like that. So basically, it seems like you have to wait 400 actual real time days to end the game. Now, I'm pretty sure modders and whatnot will probably find ways to end it early. But at this point, it seems like you would actually have to wait 400 actual game days. So I'm probably not getting this game. I ain't got that kind of time. But imagine someone on Twitch or YouTube live streaming the entire 400 days. I mean, I'm not sure if that's really that possible because like you'd have to leave your console on for 400 days to get the full live stream. But imagine that, that would probably get a lot of views. Like people just tune in probably even when the guy's asleep or girl's asleep just to see the character doing nothing, but the clock's still going down. So, so I really think if someone could pull that off with this game, I really think that would be really interesting, like just a live stream of the whole 400 days. But in any case, probably not getting this game because like, like I said, I just ain't got that kind of time. And the third game, it's more, I'm interested in this game more from name because I played the first Oxen Free, and the Oxen Free, the original one was actually pretty good in my opinion. I played through it about twice, I think. I'm even right now writing a fan fiction about it, but apparently this is a sequel taking place five years later, right? But Here's the thing, like, you're playing a new character called Riley, so will the old characters show up? Will they just be a cameo like some of those games? Part of me would have rather like them going back with Alex and Jonas, but I guess the problem with that is, see, here's the thing about games where you have multiple endings. One of the problems is it's hard to make a sequel and kind of fulfill all the endings. Because let's say you have 10 different endings, right? So how are you going to make a sequel that kind of continues with each ending without interruption, without it feeling like you just rushed it up? Because usually what happens, I think, is that when a game has multiple endings, they have it so that the character in the next game, even if it's the same character now, will like do something that basically refreshes almost everything, causes like the other endings not to matter so much anymore. I'm not going to name any games particularly. Those of you who know my channel may know what I'm talking about. So. I'm just not sure how this would work out. So I guess that's why they more so just went with a five years later and a different main character. Because then they don't have to, have to concern themselves, I believe, with all the different endings that you did in Oxen Free. But those were the three games that caught my eye. But what game caught your eye? And how did you feel about this Nintendo Indie World Showcase in general? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and God bless you all.